Alright, quick tip here. How to silence your blender, or at least muffle it. Because sometimes you're at work, sometimes you're at home, there's neighbors, you know, you don't want to be bugging them, you don't want to make it loud, you know, early in the morning, people don't like to hear blending, so this is what you do. I gotta give props to my friend Jason, he showed me this, came up with this at work, so, real quick, number one, get a towel, throw it down on the counter. Number two, throw the base onto the towel. Put that on there. Then, number three, get another towel. And you could wrap this around like this, you know, like that. Or you could do the whole thing like this. I'm just going to do it like this for now. And then, blend it a little bit. Now it definitely makes a difference. I mean, it's you know, a lot of So you want to muffle it up so you're not disturbing people at work. We blend a lot at work. Blend here in the morning, early mornings, get some breakfast. This is, uh, I've already been drinking this for a little bit. This is about four cups of mango. And a beat. And thank you to Handy Ben Bananas for uh, you know making that video on the beats because that, that got me into it this oh, last couple of weeks. Mm. And it is delish. It is delish. So another quick tip, real quick. You're just starting out on the 801010. Just go get a cheap blender. Whatever. Just get whatever. And you don't need to buy a juicer. Just go get a blender and start putting fruit in it and just start smacking it back. I mean, it doesn't take much power to blend some bananas or to blend some mango. You know, you get into the frozen stuff, you got to do a little work with it. But, you know, just uh, just get anything. You don't need the, you know, top of the line blender. You don't need, I mean, it's nice to have those things. And if you have the money for it, then, you know, definitely go for it get, you know, a Vitamix or a Bluntec or something like that, but honestly, you don't really need it. Uh, you just need something to blend up a lot of fruit. Because the one thing is, is when you start out on this lifestyle, from going from, you know, the Western style diet or, you know, any other style diet is you have to eat a lot, you know, you have to eat a lot of fruit. It's about eating, no, it's not about eating a lot, it's about eating enough. And eating enough fruit and getting enough calories from fruit, you know, uh, I've noticed that starting out and when you're blending the fruit, it helps you get the quantity that you need in. But the more you go and the more you stay on this lifestyle, you, you kind of slowly, you're not phasing out the, the blender. I still use it a lot, but you can slowly sit down and have a mono meal of, you know, 10 bananas and it's not a big deal anymore because you've kind of got accustomed to eating that much fruit and slowly but surely, you know, grazing throughout the day, you're eating, you know, more and more fruit. So then you get to the point where you can sit down and eat 10 bananas without having to blend them. I mean, obviously you can still blend them, but it's kind of, I think of the blender as, you know, a transition for us to get back to our, you know, our, the human state of, of eating and how we're supposed to eat and what we're supposed to eat. But, so, anyways, go buy a cheap blender, you know, uh, you know, it's a $100 blender or just go to the thrift shop and get one for, you know, you know, whatever, but, uh, you don't need anything fancy. Anyways, that'll muffle it, especially if you get an older cheap blender, you might want to, it might need a little bit more muffling. You know, not exactly silencing it, but, you know, do it up. Like, subscribe, you know, comment below, and, uh, you know, get some more videos for you. Got some more ideas for some videos, and um, I still got to get my blood test video up, which I got those blood tests, and it's awesome because this is kind of what I've been wanting, you know, uh, to do. Uh, ever since I saw Durian Rogers' video, his blood test videos, that's really what pushed me to go down this lifestyle. But So I'm going to do that video for you soon. 
And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Alright, quick tip here. How to silence your blender, or at least muffle it. Because sometimes you're at work, sometimes you're at home, there's neighbors, you know, you don't want to be bugging them, you don't want to make it loud, you know, early in the morning, people don't like to hear blending, so this is what you do. I gotta give props to my friend Jason, he showed me this, came up with this at work, so, real quick, number one, get a towel, throw it down on the counter, number two, 